You know, I think I can grow to like finals week. Uh, I think I did pretty well on both my finals. I just did one for math. Uh, you guys saw it on YouTube, the final for foundations for success. And uh, English. I did English yesterday. But altogether pretty good. I got out of class like half an hour early because I finished half an hour early. So... Yeah, now I'm gonna go get some breakfast. All right, I don't want to show Casey's license plate, but look, Brad, Zach, I, and Casey, all one space apart, so we don't need each other. I'm about to ruin this though, so I have to go to get some food. Uh, I apologize for my albino ness. But I'm wearing my sunglasses. It's a really fun day for wearing sunglasses. I'm not wearing glasses today because the video that you saw uh, yesterday, I think it was, today, because I'm putting it out today, hopefully, um, is about my new sunglasses, which are not done yet because it was very cold last night and blah, 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 blah. So, uh, so yeah, I, uh, pretty proud of that. Um, uh, those red sunglasses aren't, aren't for long. Gavin. I'm not gonna keep those red sunglasses for long. Uh, simply because my look is ever-changing. I, I like to switch it up a bit. I've been, I've had black sunglasses, matte black sunglasses that I made, obviously. Which, if you want to see the link to that video, which is a little bit more intuitive than uh, the one before this one, which is not intuitive at all. It's just me peeling my sunglasses and putting on red paint. Red plastic, I'm sorry. Um, and, yeah, this is what it is. So, if you really want to know how to plastic dip your sunglasses, it's pretty easy. You just spray paint them with plastic dip. That's the only thing you do. Make sure they're clean. Um, and you will get air bubbles with glasses um, because when you put it, set it down on like a regular flat surface and spray paint them, it'll start dripping and then it'll dry like that. What I do is I just take a toothpick and I just jab it, that's all. Um, but that, that's the only advice I have to give you. I really don't know how to do it myself. How does it feel to be in the vlog again, man? So that does it for Foundations. Foundations is really fun. Um, I'm glad that they make us take it because it is a very smooth transition into college. Um, but it's over. It's over. I, uh, obviously, I gave the final 
uh, the other day, actually last week, two weeks ago, something like that, totally forgot, but it's on YouTube, go check it out, link's down below, or whatever, it's on my channel, um, so yeah, now I'm going home, and I gotta go check out my sunglasses. So I moved them into the garage last night because it was way too cold and they weren't drying. <sighs> okay, so it's stuck to the box. I really fucked this one up, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, it's a simple fix. These aren't permanent. So I think they're fine, honestly. I think they're great. All that matters is the front, and the front looks pretty good. Obviously, I will be taking the paint off the lenses. I'm not stupid. There we go. See, the problem here is I, uh, I stupidly put way too much. Look at this. The box is fine, actually. I feel all the paint on it. See? It's fine. But as a result, the glasses aren't. So, I have either to... Let's see if I can... Alright, that was a pretty clean rip. Um, I don't know. I think I'm just going to leave it like that. Considering they're temporary and the glasses are black, so it's going to take a lot of work if I really want to make them red, red, red. You know what I'm saying? So this is kind of the sloppy look I'm kind of going for, so we're going to go for it. Why not? Redo it, which is pretty easy. I just take all this off. And judging by the box, see, look, the box is still brand new. It hasn't been touched. See? It's kind of like when you wrap a car and then you unwrap it. The car is basically the same as when you wrap it. Nice. <laughs> That's still wet. Whoops. Not a big deal. That's good enough. I think the glasses came out pretty well. Um, again, this is just for the holidays. I do have to say that this does feel a bit better, more permanent than um, my original black ones. Maybe because I have another coat. Like, if you look really close, it looks kind of shit. But that's kind of what I'm going for. I'm going for the look of, like, I just dumped a big can of red paint on them. That's what I'm looking for. Um, while still having the functionality of actually seeing out of them, of course. This isn't permanent. This is plastic. If I can just peel it off, it, it, like I just did with the glass, with the lenses. Uh, I, I just don't want to hear anything saying, oh, you're copying Casey Neistat, or... Oh, you know, you could have done it much better if you just, just stop it. Stop it. Get some help. This is what I was going for. It might not seem like it because, oh, you were kind of trying to make it look cool. And yeah, no. In that video, the paint wasn't sticking to the glasses because it was too cold or something. I don't know what was going on. I moved into the garage. I put one more coat of paint on it that made three or four. I'm not really sure. Uh, coats of paint on it so it has like one or two more coats of paint on it than the other one and you can still see black through it so something happened during the process but I could actually care less because Christmas is this weekend and this is probably gonna last like two weeks I'm gonna be looking up different colors of plastic dip and I'll be ordering them and I'll be like hey for every holiday like St. Patrick's Day I'll do green for Easter I'll do like purple and yeah that'll be fun wouldn't it it would be great. Huh. Let me know if there's uh, like any cool colors of plastic that you want me to paint these. Uh, but yeah, this is for Christmas, obviously, because red, this is the only one that Walmart had other than gray and black, and I already have black, so red it is. This wears, obviously, because this is not permanent. This is rubber. This is not paint. Um, it'll wear like it's already done. See? And so, yeah. Oh, I haven't... <laughs> 
I haven't closed these yet. And probably the most satisfying thing, and yet terrifying thing of actually doing this is because they're done when they're open, like this, and I haven't closed the glasses yet, so. <laughs> little like Ray-Ban, like, little chrome things. I didn't do those because simply I got lazy and I think that it looks better without them. Just saying. I just don't want any hate for what I did to these glasses. They're not real Ray-Bans. Just, just, they're not real. They're $13 gas station glasses that I spray painted twice already and they're fine. Emily! What? You ready to go? Hey, man. Bye! Bye! Bye, Emily! Okay, do 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 do. Toys for tots! You know, Emily, I've been taking a little bit of pointers from uh, regular car reviews. No one gives a crap. Just saying. <laughs> Emily hates the regular car reviews, and so does a lot of people. I don't know why. They're stupid. He's hilarious! No, he's not. The only thing that he says that's funny is brown. That's the only funny thing he says. That's... It's funny, but it's not the only funny thing. Me and Emily are going... Sorry. Emily and I are going to uh, the mall for Christmas shopping. Sorry. I'm coming late. I've turned into a grammar Nazi. Sorry. Grammar Nazi. Grammar police. <laughs> Nazi. Um, so... Just like, uh, I think it was like the last like proper vlog we did, I did. Emily doesn't do anything in these vlogs, she just shows up. We, we went Christmas shopping, we didn't, we didn't, Christmas. Uh, we, we didn't really show anything because obviously the people that watch these vlogs are the people that we're buying presents for. And that's the only reason why we can't really show you guys this. We're actually meeting Zach there too, which, uh, is kind of cool, because, Zach. <laughs> Fine, Emily. Yeah, Fall! But you can't see you now. Good. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're basically gonna be walking around the mall with Zach, and then maybe we'll split off and we'll get some presents for our loved ones, as well as yeah. some food because I'm I'm kind of hungry, despite that peanut butter and Nutella waffle I had. That's nasty. Actually, no, I like. Them. You love it. <laughs> By the way, uh, as patent pending, I did invent those. Don't let anyone else tell you that they invented that. I invented that first. I, I went in the kitchen one day and I got some waffles, put some peanut butter on those mother... So, there you go. They also work with peanut butter and chocolate chips. Just don't try the chocolate chips with the chocolate, whatever Excuse spread, chocolate. because then you'll get diabetes. <laughs> so we're driving <laughs> and this bird just crapped on my freaking windshield. <laughs> You're done talking and then boom.
Now, these are still being broken in, and I don't know what people are going to be thinking of me when I'm walking around the mall in my tattered red Ray-Bans. So I'm just going to leave them in the car. A, because I'm in winter time with sunglasses, and B, because it's going to get dark soon and it's not going to make any sense, nor is it going to be very safe to walk around in sunglasses. Don't you agree? Yeah. Look at the purple stuff. That's salt. My watch is on backwards. Nasty. All right, so it's been a while. <laughs> Emily, uh, how's, how's your shopping experience going? It's pretty good. Right. So we got some gifts. Some good old gifts. Can't show you though. Show them the bags. Oh, I'm just showing them the top of the bags. Learn that. We're trying to find things for certain people, and we're struggling. So, yeah, that's that's basically the gist of it. All right, we're gonna keep this in your, this stuff in your trunk, right? We have like no one else. Uh, it's not gonna like blow up or anything, right? What? I'm just saying. I can't talk to him. Well, I can't show the camera that it's stuff that won't blow up in my trunk. Oh yeah, it, it might actually blow up. That's fine. We'll we'll uh. All right, so me and Emily are gonna go eat dinner. Obviously, it's dark out, so she's turning on the light. Thank you very much. No problems. I'm professional. Oh, the doors are closed. Professional. So yeah, we're gonna go to Five Guys. Emily's never had Five Guys. Never had Five Guys. Never had Five Guys. I've had Five Guys like twice, and I can vouch for Five Guys, saying that Five Guys burgers and fries is lit. Five guys, and I'm very happy. Are you happy? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. First five guy experience, go. <laughs> Bye, Emily. Yeah. Sit down and take your first bite. Is it good? Is it everything you imagined it would be? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> oh. Is it worse or is it better? No, it's better. Oh, okay. Well, you said it like, it's not really. Chestnuts. No, it's just not like a Spanish. Whatever. Danny, 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 you gotta get your dab game on, okay? So, if you, if you guys don't know how to dab, you take whatever arm you want. I want my left arm. And I, you just, you just, you just, you just, you just go, like, oh, oh, so strong, so strong. Trying to draw my egg. Trying to draw my nog. What? Yeah, it's rubber. Hmm? No, it's Christmas. Cheers.